Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, no. look what's back in the garage. It's the Honda. Ooh, what are we going to do today? Okay, so the daughter says, Dad is making a rumbling sound in the front end. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens. Oh, look. Whoa. Oh, so typical. Honda Acura's front wheel studs broken. Imagine that. All right, let's fix this shit. Obviously, that one's gone. We knew this one was gone. I've already been in here once. Let's jack the car up and let's uh, get to working on it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take these three lugs off. And uh, we'll get in here and we will then put on new two new studs. One tire off. So in order to do this job, we're going to have to dry this one out and put in two new ones. We're going to have to take off the caliper to get that done. 17 millimeter. There we go. Come on. There's one. There's a second one down there. I've already broken that one loose. It's out. So we can now take off this entire brake piece here. Okay. So now that's out of the way. There's two screws right here we need to take out. Now if yours are not, if yours are hard to get off, you can take a hammer and kind of pound those. That will help take them out. Okay, cards in neutral. And now we can spin this around as needed. So let me show you something. This is what I had to do before. You're going to take a Dremel and you just want to cut off a little piece of this backing plate. Won't hurt anything, doesn't affect anything. It's a backing place for dust and whatever. You can just zip, zip, pull that out, and then you have a straight shot to put those new wheel studs in. Now we know this one here is already out, so let's move this one that broke to right there. Get your big hammer, and you're gonna hit it. And they will come out. If you need to, take a punch and drive it all the way out. Out it comes. Trashola. So your new one, there'll be a link down below where you can buy these off Amazon. And yeah, you'll make me a dollar or two, but oh well. You can simply slide it in. Take your hammer. And you're just going to nail that, drive that in a little bit. Dude, it's about right there. Now you can see it's not fully contacted. So here's where you got to get creative. Find yourself a spacer, a bunch of washers, stack them up. Something that's going to fit over that and put this on. Now, you can either by hand wrench it down, or if you happen to have an impact, <laughs> impact it down. Watch this space here close up. And once you see that it's got no more, you're good. Reverse it off. One stud on. Spin this around. Repeat the process. All right, so let's make sure that's down. We'll do one more ugga bugga. Think we're good? Take our spacer off. All right, now 
We have all those back together. Threads are good. Shouldn't have any problems with threads. Let's go ahead and put our caliper back on and our rotor, and we're good to go. Okay, let's put our rotor back on. Remember to line up the two holes where those screws go. Now, I love using thread blocker. And for this, I'm going to use red. Normally, I use blue, but I don't have any blue with me, so we're going to use some red. Just take a little dab. Put it on there. And screw it in. Tight. Good, good. Take the other one, a little bit of thread lock. Get her in. Tighten it down. Tight. Tight. Good, good, good. Now that we have that on, we can go ahead and put our bolts on that hold our caliper. Unhook that. And we'll tighten these down. All right, now we'll get this tire on. Now, because of this issue I've had with several Hondas and several Acuras, I'm going to go ahead and thread lock these bad boys. I always start them by hand, get them kind of in place here. Make sure you're seated well. We'll get them on tight. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up here at the Arrowhead Garage. Working on our 2005 uh, Honda Accord, placing those wheel studs. It's not that hard to do. You don't need a lot of tools, just some basic stuff to get the job done. Parts down below, you can order the new wheel studs. You can order new uh, lug nuts if you need those. And again, anything else you need, just hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more Honda content, subscribe and let me know what you're driving and what your Honda you have. And maybe I can help you out on a few things when the time comes. So until next time, guys, be safe and have fun. And I'll see you next time.